Hey guys, Rob from AST here. So I think it's been a little while since my last blog and I want to take some time to talk about this awesome event I just went to. Um, last week I was able to go to First 5 LA, which is this awesome group in California here that really puts a lot of resources, time, energy, money into helping underserved communities. And at First Five's offices was this really cool press conference put on by the Special Needs Network in UCLA. And it was all about announcing this awesome study with uh, a grant that just got uh, approved to do some research on the genetics of autism, but looking specifically at minority communities. So for those of you out there who know what's been going on the last few, probably 10 years, a lot of different hospitals, universities have been consolidating their resources, bringing together genetic information so we can really get to the bottom of what are the causes of autism and how much, if any, of it has to do with our genetics. The great thing about this genetic study is that if it is tied to our genetics, there may be the possibility of us conducting a test in the first six months of a child's life to say, are they high risk? Are they going to have autism? Really get all this heads up information from a blood sample. It's gonna get rid of all the objectivity, all of these back and forths of, is the person trained? Do we know? We can rely much more heavily on traditional science and medicine to be able to help identify these factors, which in turn means early intervention, sooner, faster, and more intensively. Well, what's really great about what this study uh, that UCLA is doing is they're looking at other communities. Up until now, there's been a disproportionate amount of genetic cells and uh, samples from the, the white community, Caucasians, uh, people from European descent, and not as many from African American communities and Hispanic communities. So this study is going to actually emphasize that, because one of the things that geneticists have realized is that there are certain diseases, certain disorders that are more uh, prevalent in certain uh, cultural or uh, racial communities. You know, some diseases are very present in maybe an Asian community that maybe aren't as prevalent in an African American community. I know me, I remember having to go to classes as a kid about something called Tay-Sachs, and Tay-Sachs is something that is incredibly prevalent in the Jewish community and pretty much non-existent elsewhere. Why? No idea. Just remember having to go to this class as a 13-year-old and learning all about it. Um, are there going to be those same type of differences in autism? Is one community or ethnic community going to be more prevalent than another? And that's what this study is going to help us answer, as well as get us closer to that idea of being able to create a test through genetics, through genes, to determine if a child is at risk for autism. And what was even probably the most exciting thing is that the lead um, clinician, the head of this grant, said he thinks yes, and that we're maybe 10 years away. Now, by his own admission, he's an optimist, but that got me so excited. So, if you have other questions about this, if you want to know a little bit more about this grant, about this study, a couple ways you could look it up. You could go to the Special Needs Network. It's a great parent advocacy group here in South Los Angeles. They do a lot of great work online, and it's run by an incredible advocate named Dereva Martin. Uh, another way you could look it up is this is all listed and can be found on UCLA's website. Uh, UCLA has an amazing center for autism. Um, it's actually called CART, and CART is a uh, center for autism and related, no, resources and treatment. Got it. And you can go to their website as well and get more information. And I'm sure you're going to see a lot more in the news about this in the coming months and years. Hope you guys find this information helpful. I know it, it gave me a lot of hope about where we're going. Hope you have a good one. Bye.